And can I also get a loaded breakfast sandwich just on its own? Your critical mouse was 2597. Thank you. Gotta break fast. Gotta break a oh, lot. I love something. And if a double decker bus <laughs> to have by your side, heavenly way to die. I've left Redlands. I'm in Chicago now. Let's catch up on what you've missed. So other than working, Ari and I went to go see The Mulberry Tree by Van Gogh. It's probably my favorite painting. And I'd kind of like resigned myself to the idea that I would never get to see it because it's based in Pasadena. And I was like, when am I ever gonna be in Pasadena? All the paint is laid on so thick and the glass is almost like pressing it in. But there were also moments where the canvas was almost completely bare. Um, and I and like the movement and the color and the texture, I know, I just like love all of it. Fascinating. For me, for me it is. Observe with your chin. Scratch, yes. Mmm, so intellectual. This baby looks like a uka chaka, uka, uka, uka chaka, uka. I can't fight this feeling. Your poison letter, your telegram. Just goes to show you don't give a damn. Since you've been gone, since you've been gone, I'm out of my head, can't take it. Later that night, I met up with Sydney, who you may remember from being in Dolskin, and uh, we went to a gaming bar whilst Aria was at band practice. The walls could talk to see the lies. We'd see the world through devil's eyes. It's probably because you're behind the camera. There was like these coins where you'd put them into the machines and you'd kind of get to play what you wanted. I think we have a few of those in the UK, but nothing that isn't like a club as well. So it was nice to be like in a bit more of a relaxed environment. So after meeting up with Ari again, we kind of ended up at a karaoke bar, um, which was interesting. I, I can't say I'm proud of what I did, but I can say it's shockingly on brand. If you see a faded sign at the side of the road that says 15 miles to the top. Yeah, it was just really cool and nice to kind of hang out with people and feel like I was part of an LA friendship group for one night. Everyone in the group was like a really interesting person that was involved in the arts and everyone was really into their karaoke and I know I think I appreciate people that are ready to commit to the bit. So I kind of love that. And after the bar we kind of went back to um, someone's flat and we're just like singing along further with, with guitars and just chilling and I just really enjoyed that. The kind of the value of having a friendship group in a different country, I think. Got you. Thank you. Sorry, no sorry. Alright. Things are better! And the next day, Ara and I ended up at another gaming bar. And before kind of going back home and writing some music together. I like the idea of dying together. Picks for a tuppence, madame. Ari is just kind of like a great person to hang out with regardless of what we're doing. So I kind of just always have a great time when I'm around her. She's great. I love her. Okay. <laughs> okay, are we going? Yeah. Oh, I love this song. I also got to deliver my first postcards home. Um, I never know quite what to put into a postcard, but like I'm sure my family and friends will appreciate just 
kind of mindless rambling of like whatever I felt like writing down. So the last thing I did before flying out was go to Hoity Toity's EP release show. It's a good EP, you should check it out. feeling like you're part of the DIY scene, um, especially in America, because I, I kind of follow a lot of the bands out here, especially because the gig was in like this kind of courtyard outside the back of the, the bar, where everything felt very much like just put together and everyone was really keen. And I don't know, I just really, I think that's sick. So in the end, I really enjoyed my time in California and I wish I could have stayed longer, but I had to pop on a flight. And I was kind of sad to leave in the end, but I guess adventure awaits because now I'm properly on the trip, like I'm out here. Chicago is exact change or go screw yourself. There's something a little bit weird um, about Chicago, which I just learned. T-Mobile was closed and it said it should have been open. So I went up to it and um, I looked in, no one in there, I was like, what? I went to um, a coffee shop and I said, hey, why are these shops all closed when on the door it says they're open? This guy goes, yeah, no, that's just Chicago. That's just like how it is. Uh, at this point, this is also where I met Ben, and uh, things got a little weird. Oh my god. Okay, where's Fullerton? Berwyn, that sounds like my name. It's BBC Radio 4. <laughs> you can see Trump on the side of buildings. You can see it in the feeling. You can see it in the streets. And ultimately, it's symbolic of a nation in decline. <laughs> my name's Ben Millis, and this is our world. Okay. <laughs> Now that's fun. Sorry, come over, come over, come over. Tell me something real quick. I wish I could have sugary drinks. We ended up going to an art gallery where I met up with some quizzes from the area, from the Uni of Chicago. And we're going to quiz practice tonight, actually, so I don't know if you'll get to see that. Ah, uh, yes, the art gallery. Look at this okay. piece of modern art. Now, what have we just seen? Dali, the guy in person. We actually saw him. In the flesh. Hello. Not too bad. BBC News. Welcome to the big silver thing. This is. Do you know the what it's originally one. called? No. Cloudgate. Cloudgate. Okay. It's by Anish Kapoor, who we don't like. So we have Cloudgate. Yes. And um, fundamentally, this is the number one tourist attraction in Chicago. Why? I don't know. But let's find out. I have taken it. Oh. Now, here we have the big silver cloud gate. Number one towards the track in all of Chicago. The heavens are looking at you. So that's kind of where I am right now. Now I'm going to enjoy Chicago. I'm here for a few more days. I'll, I'll see you soon. This is just another postcard home. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Mwah. You're gonna have to go find change elsewhere. What is that, the toilet flashing?